What up you guys today y'all tuning in with your boy Southern Smoke Boss and I'm back in again today back outside we finally got no rain baby I've been waiting patiently patiently for to have no rain so I can get outside and get back on that smoke y'all know I love the outdoor cooking man that's me so today what I'm gonna be doing one of my favorites the cook on the grill that and the family favorites I'm gonna be smoking me some baby back ribs so we was up in uh up in the DC area and we just, uh, I was like, man, this place I know is up here, up in the Northern Virginia area. So we just ride down the road, coming back. We stop at a place called Cool. Y'all know Cool Smoke. Everybody know Cool Smoke. He award winning. So I think it's a place called, let me see, Q, Q Smoke. Man, amazing food. So I had to just pick up some of his dry rub and barbecue sauce. Got the original rub. It was on a couple of dollars, about four or five dollars. Then I got the sauce, barbecue sauce, got the original and the sweet. So y'all know I'm about to make it go down and I'm going to see what it's all about with me trying to myself. See if I can master it. See if it can make me a butter cook, you know. So I have already washed off the baby back ribs, pulled off the membrane, patted them dry. Y'all don't see me do that numerous times if you haven't. You can go back and look at some of the previous videos. So I'm not going to be using no base to make it stick. So I know this is going to stick pretty good. So I like, you see I got them facing up opposite directions, but I was just showing you how it looks, how good it looks and how squared off it pretty much is. Uh, so I like to season this side first because you can see how the bone shape, it won't really touch and the season won't come off. So I'm just start and we can go ahead and get this thing covered up. And we just go, I'm going to slowly pat it on, just pat it on that generous. Don't want to rub it to be turned up the meat and stuff. And we just give it a nice little flip. We'll do the exact same thing, just get it covered. And I'm going to just go ahead and continue on and get the next rib season up. Some pecan wood today. Smokers are already nice, ready, and hot. We put them meaty side down. If everybody don't know, uh, Toughest Stone is one of the people that I used to watch when I was just watching videos, and I was like, man, I would love to do that. And he was one of the guys that motivated me to get get me a smoker and start cooking when I was in Texas. Stay tuned. Hey, you guys. So it's been about three hours now. They back ribs been smoking, so we're about to go ahead and get it wrapped. You can see this, that uh, seasoned dry rub is forming a nice bark on it. The, you can see that the meat is starting to pull back, so I got one and three here 
of apple cider vinegar and water and I'm just going to pour it in there for the steamer. Now we're going to let go ahead and let them smoke for about, well, go ahead and turn the rise on up for about another hour. And then we'll come back out and sauce them. Stay tuned. So it's been an hour. We're about to go ahead and get it sauce them. And let that sauce get on. I'm going to hit a nice glaze. Sorry it's not to your liking. The family like them falling apart. Woo! See what I mean? They like them falling apart, man. So that's how I make them. That way they get eaten. So I got the original and the sweet sauce. So first I'm gonna be using the sweet sauce on this one over here. Just pouring a little on. Hit it with my brush. Just paint it on. Nice. Huh? Then we we'll go ahead and hit the other one with the original. They also had a hot too, but I won't mess with them hot. I don't, some people hot is different. And I ain't wanna ruin my ribs. So we can go ahead and let that sit and glaze for about 20 minutes and we'll come back and take them off. So now we have been about 30 minutes. They don't got that nice glaze on them. So here we have the final product, man. Hey, it smells amazing. I have to admit that the dry rub and the barbecue sauce is amazing. You can see that it formed a nice glaze on the bay back ribs. That's just what I be looking for every time I do a cook, man. Hopefully uh, this dry rub and sauce will say, that the family say, oh, you know how to cook now, hopefully. So I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in today of me doing this review on this nice uh, barbecue sauce and dry rub. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hey, and it's about to be summertime, about to have to get back on there and grill. Thanks for tuning in, peace out.